guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my favorite makeup setting sprays. I feel like there are so many different things you can do with setting sprays that a lot of people probably don't know about. For me, setting sprays have gone from me thinking, oh, they're cool, like it's a cool gimmick, you know, it seems like refreshing, blah, 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 to now like me using it on a daily basis for multiple things. And um, I am just really, really feel like I figured out the ways to use them. I figured out the best ones, or at least in my opinion. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. That's what this video is gonna be about. If you would like to see it, then please keep watching. So my first makeup setting spray that is one of my favorites is the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. This has coconut water, probiotic-based ingredients, and skin revivers. It is silicone-free, alcohol-free, and oil-free alcohol free just kidding so this is a weightless three-in-one coconut water infused mist that primes sets and refreshes makeup while it helps keep keep skin hydrated i will definitely agree to that this is my favorite one as far as a makeup setting spray that is going to hydrate your face this is a great setting spray for putting on your face when you are either about to start doing your makeup and you've already put your moisturizer on and everything you can spray it on um, when you are finished with your makeup to set everything make everything kind of melt into the skin and again just provide another source of hydration for your skin it does smell amazing like coconut so that's always great this is one of my favorite uh, setting sprays for hydration next setting spray is the MAC prep and prime this is the fix plus this is the pretty much the end all be all of setting sprays this may honestly be the first setting spray out there i don't know it's probably not i don't know but it was definitely one of the first few and this is the one that i use for so many different things if you have shimmering or foiled eyeshadows this is a great thing where you can let's see i know i've got a flat brush here somewhere this will work. This is a, um, you can semi flat brush. You can use this. So what you would do is you could, I'll just use my, <laughs> I'm just using the resources I have with me on the table. Um, so what you could do if you wanted to make a shadow look more pigmented, actually what I'll do is I'll take forever young and I'll put this on the back of the hand. Okay. So that's forever young. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go back into that same color and then I am going to take the Fix Plus and spray it on the brush. And then I'm going to apply it on right beside it so you can see the difference. So this is with the Fix Plus. You can just see it's so much smoother and it just pops way more it's almost like a more of a cream based shadow now which is awesome and then this is the this is the powder that we put on before that so um that is what is going to do to obviously any kind of uh, powder but so you can use that for highlighters like this you can do that with eyeshadows I'll take a powder from a regular shimmery powder to um, a beautiful, more in-your-face cream shadow that is going to stay longer and just look better overall. So it's really an amazing product. It's also my favorite one to spray on my makeup, make it more mattified and to make everything set into the skin and just stay all day. Now, there are so many different ways you can use this, you guys. There really is. I'm probably not even touching the surface, but those are the main two ways that I use Fix Plus. So um, I'll keep it at that right now. After I film this video, I'll probably think of five more things I use it for. Next one I want to talk about is the Evian, Evian, is that how you say it? The Natural Mineral Water Facial Spray. It moisturizes, refreshes, and tones. And this is one that I do like to use, like, if I've gone to work out or if I don't have makeup on and I just want a little bit of refresher, especially in the summertime, if you're somewhere that's really hot or you're on the beach or at the pool or whatever, and you just need a little bit of refreshing, you can spray this on. Um, it is, it's got stuff in it that is really good for your skin as well. It's used daily all year around. Evian Facial Spray hydrates your skin, helps fix your makeup, freshens, and purifies. I've never used it as a makeup setting spray. I will have to try that because I didn't even know that it actually said that. Um, but I will try it as a makeup setting spray as well, but it is just so refreshing to spray on and just keep you cool and hydrated. The last one I'm going to talk about is the Mario Badescu. This is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This is so refreshing. Um, it is just like the Evian where 
I feel like I use it more as like just to hydrate the skin without makeup on. I feel like that's the way that I mainly use it, although that's the way that I was using it. Um, as of the past two or three weeks, I have started using it to actually set my makeup. And I can tell like such a big difference. It's crazy when I use this over um, my makeup at the end. So I feel like it is a great makeup setting spray as well. And it kind of is a medium between the Too Faced and the Fix Plus. It's not more of a mattifying type situation with the Fix Plus, um, but it's not as hydrating as the Too Faced. So it's kind of a medium. So I'd say it'd be good for combination skin or, um, you know, just skin throughout the year if you're not uh, one way or the other too much. It smells amazing. Like I said, it has aloe herbs and rose water in it. It's just very refreshing and these are all ingredients that are great for your skin. They did come out with a few other new scents. I know there's a cucumber one and I think there's a lavender one. So I'm really excited to try those as well. But Mario Badescu is one of my favorite skincare brands. Um, they have so many amazing things and that is one of them. That completes this uh, video. I was about to say that completes this look. <laughs> that completes this video on my favorite makeup setting sprays. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know your favorite spray. I'm always looking for new ones to try, especially now that I am into them so much more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. As usual, I will have all the products I talked about today in the description bar below if you would like to look into them more or possibly purchase them for yourselves. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Yes.